two glasses. If it's water, it's, it's haram. If it's um, alcohol, it's haram. But it's for you to decide which is which. It's for you to open your eyes, understand what color and what a smell is water, what color, what smell is alcohol, and choose which one to drink and which one not to drink. It's not down to me to come to your house and buy you a, a statement saying that the one on the left-hand side and such a mug is, is allowed and this one isn't. So the same in a lot of uh, examples when it comes to uh, harming yourself. For example, it might be boxing. In a, certain, in a certain position, in a certain time, boxing may be forbidden. But if it's non-contact, or if it's semi-contact, or if it's a way no one gets harmed, then there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of times it's down to that person to, to, to sort of look at all the reasoning around them um, and make up their own mind, as it were. With regards to chess, now, this person uh, said, I don't know if they're still on the line, but they made very good points. Um, and I think there was another point which I've forgotten, but um, if there was, I can call back. You're right, with regards to chest, there are plenty of right. And the, the hadith with regards to chest are very strong, very moving. As he said, even by looking at the at, at chess. And the right that, that are so strong usually um, convey a message that it doesn't matter how you do it, it's still haram. When, it, when, it, when, you, when, my, when the Ra'ad says looking at it is haram, it shows the extent of it. It's nothing to do with play. Within itself, it's haram. Okay? When you talk about how some maraja, and it's a very, very minor, small part of maraja, by the way. Oh, it's, it's, it's two people from what I know um, that have said this. They've said it because they, their reasoning is that it changes. It's no longer chess. When you play on a computer, when you play as a sport, it's no longer the chess that the hadith and the rawat were referring to. Right. The, the other marajat don't accept it. There is a thing called um, adillah wal illa. What, what is the dalil? What is the reasoning for, for something being haram? Um, is, is, and also why it is haram. Two separate things. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll come to that in a minute because they've told me that there's a... Not Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to Ahl al TV Live with myself, Abdul Rauf, and our guest, Sheikh Ali Ma'asumiyan. Our discussion this evening is on juristic reasoning. <clears throat> and before the break, Sheikh, we were discussing the issue or the, 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 the topic of chess. And uh, we had to stop you, or you stopped halfway because we had a call. Um, and this was to do with, you were saying that, yes, there are some hadith that are very unequivocal in the forbiddenness of chess. However, the two or three that have said that it's allowed is because of the different uses of chess. Yeah, it's basically that they're saying that um, <coughs> nowadays, or not even nowadays, in, in a circumstance where it's not used for gambling, in a circumstance where it's used as pure, purely for a social purpose or for entertainment, then it's changed usage from when the rawaya or the hadith was narrated, therefore it's, uh, it's nothing to do with the ruwaya and it's now halal. No, no one else accepts this and they say, um, you know, the, 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 it exists and it's not one or two ruwaya as, as our friend said, there are plenty and there is no getting away with it that in itself is haram. No matter how you change it, be it on a computer, be it on a table, um, be it as a toy, uh, be it for gambling, they're all forbidden. Okay, so <clears throat> basically this isn't them exerting their own opinion, even those that have said that it's halal, it's, they're not actually exerting their own opinion, they are basing it on some of the principles uh, of they're, 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 They are conveying their own opinion, obviously that, that's the <coughs> job of a mujtahid in, in, uh, in Shia Islam, is they, uh, the difference between the Shia mujtahid and the Sunnah mujtahid is we have a very strict guideline to go on, which is a hadith, the whole of Quran. From those we extract, from those we talk about. We can't say, you know, uh, the Qur'an said this, but I'll do this. My ishtihad says different to the Qur'an, my ishtihad says different to the hadith. My ishtihad says different to the ayma because we feel them to be and we know them to be infallible. In fact, infallibility is a very big point of this. Um, alongside that, I use my own knowledge to come up with a ruling. For example, the chess ruling. Okay. 
Okay, we have uh, another. Uh, do you want to finish the, the, the uh, question? Or? Okay, let's let's quickly finish this, and because we have a caller on the line, if that caller would just hold tight for a bit. The third question from Said Ali, uh, very quickly, was Tuck Lead. He says means consultation yeah, yeah. and is yeah. used in a negative context, and he used. Uh, he said there are many examples in the Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemns those who follow blindly, follow others blindly. Now, we said if a ma'soom gives us a particular hadith or a it's for us to put our hands up and become Muslims, taslim to what is haq and what is true. And uh, when I read the rawaya and I proved the narrations that it is, is correct and the meanings and, it, and the word taqlid was in it, uh, that's as far as that's concerned with Furu' al-Din. There's a taqlid in Usul al-Din which is haram, which is forbidden. You cannot accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's being, His justness, uh, ma'ad, the, the existence of, judgment, uh, of hell and heaven, the nabuwa, the, the imamah even. These things you don't do by taqlid. You don't see what the marja says or what your mother or father says. After you become Balag with your own mind and with your own brain and with your own common sense and by research you come to the truth. It's in Furu' al-Din, prayer, fasting, um, homes, these issues that relate back to where we need to do taqlid. And again, anyone uh, that doesn't want to do taqlid, they either have to be uh, of and ins- they have to be insane or before the, the premature age of taqlid or they have to be a mujtahid if they're a layman person it makes no sense for them not to want to do taqlid other than arrogance okay thank you uh, we're going to go to our next call inshallah sorry for keeping you waiting welcome to Ahl Bayt TV assalamu alaikum uh, your name and where you're calling from please sister my name is Zakra and I'm from Michigan from Michigan, okay. Thank you very much for calling in from the United States. Your question? My question is... Thank you very much. We'll uh, move on to our next caller now, inshallah. Hello, Salaam alaikum. Welcome to Ahl Bayt TV. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Your name and where you're calling from, please, brother. Uh, my name is Payne. I'm calling from uh, West. From West, okay. Yeah. West London? Uh, uh, no, 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 West uh, Midlands, Birmingham. Okay, West Midlands, thank you. My question to the esteemed respected that uh, uh, you know in Taqlid, uh, it, it is it said as it said it was why we took Taqlid in four, we only three weeks, but uh, is it necessary that Taqlid be then done of one marja or can you combine three or four marjas? Okay. In, in case that you combine between three or four marjas, then what happens in the instance when they have a difference of opinion? Uh huh. Okay. Thank you very much, brother. That was a that's a very interesting I've question. Sent, sent the Thank you question. very much. Thank, Thank you. you. So, if you if you want to say online, you can say online to 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 to, to ask any more questions. If I um, after I answer the, the, this part of the question. Oh, no, yeah. No. If there are any issues, in Charlotte, the brother can yeah. can call back. So Tuck Lead uh, sounds like he accepts the the concept of Tuck Lead. Yeah, the concept of Tuck Lead. Thank you. Um, but can we combine, say? I don't know, four maraja, maraja and one, and and then, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's a case of pick and choose, and then what do we do when there's a difference between them? <coughs> First of all, remember what we said, the same ruling that pushes you towards taqlid, the same common sense that tells you you must follow a knowledgeable person where you don't have knowledge, the same reasoning pushes you and tells you it's a must to follow the most knowledgeable. In no society, no educated person would say that you're allowed to follow a less knowledgeable person when the most knowledgeable is available. Again, this is one of the reasons with regards to the uh, truth of Imam Ali, Ali. He was the most knowledgeable of his time from the ahadith that Ahl al-Sunnah have. Anyway, so once you have the most knowledgeable, you can't follow someone less knowledgeable. Why? Because the marja is there to extract rulings, to get you to the near, nearest to the truth and the true ahkam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put down. No one can say that I, I give you the truth. They can say, I've tried my best to get you closest to the truth. No marja can say, this is definitely it. But what they can say is, I think, or I have conviction, that this is the closest you're going to get to the truth. Now, 
the person to get you the closest to the truth must be the most knowledgeable, okay? As the less knowledgeable is less likely to get you to the truth. That being said, sometimes you have two, three, four people of the same caliber. It's very rare because even uh, even the Maraja today say that even if they're re relatively the same, one slightly higher, you can choose the one that is slightly higher. In fact, you have to choose the one which is slightly higher. But let's just um, say, for argument's sake, that it, it occurred one day and you had four marajit that were exactly the same. As far as the uh, as far as their uh, knowledge was concerned, they were all of exact the same amount. In this situation, different marajit have different ruling. There is a there is a school of thought where it says at the beginning you're allowed to choose any of these four. But if you choose at the beginning, until the end you have to go with it. Again, these are all common sense. There's no rule with regards to these, so we can discuss them very easily. Some say no, because the chance of any of these four making a mistake is the same, then you can pick and choose. So for one year you can do tarid of this person, for the second year you can do tarid of the third, and so forth and so forth. Some say what you must do is look at the four people, take their ahkam on everything, uh -huh. and do the ahtiyat, do the, take the precaution, which would most definitely get you to the closest to the truth. Why? Because whenever you do ahtiyat, obviously, if... Um, for example, they give you permission to drink X drink, okay, and two of them disagree, or one of them disagrees. To take the precaution, you don't drink it. If one of them says, uh, when you go to, to, to this distance, you need to pray qasr, you need to pray uh, broken. The other one says you need to pray your prayer completed. Or two of them say this, and two of them say you need to pray broken, two of them say you, 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 you do complete. The precaution would be to do both, the complete. Now, these are the three paths available. Now, the, the brother de here didn't say that whose ruling he wanted to know with regards to if they were at the same uh, level of, of alamiya, what they must do. But as I said, these, these, these three are the rulings that exist uh, today. Now, when it comes to four people being of the same, uh, the same uh, amount of knowledge, if you start to follow one of them, yeah. <coughs> some people say it's common sense to carry on with that one person because you would do the same with a doctor. If you went to treatment with one doctor, you wouldn't halfway through cut your treatment and go to a second one if they were even though they were at the same level of strength and the same level of knowledge. Some people disagree and say no, in fact is there nothing wrong uh, with, with taking two, three doctors uh, at the same time for different purposes of different treatments. The whole uh, concept of the A'lamiyya can be discussed in, 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 in various ways in the fact that in fact the, 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 you can even discuss whether Today it's, it's, it's impossible to have alami on every issue in one person, mm. which, is, which, which is what some people have said. Um, others disagree. Uh, what, what was the? I'm, I'm, I'm getting away from the question that the person asked. Which is basically, Tuckley, can we combine? And if we do combine, as in take take rulings from different maraja, if we do, what do we do when there's a difference between them? But you've already explained that with the examples you gave of. Yeah, so basically I think I answered the question, the reason being, in 99.% of the time, um, when you go to find the Ahlul Khabra, you find the most knowledgeable anyway. It's very rare that you find that four people are the same level. Just in case you do, I've given you the three different uh, scenarios. Inshallah. Uh, we're going to go to our next caller now, Inshallah. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, anybody there? Hello, hello. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Walaikum Islam brother, sorry I'm just calling back again. Said Ali. Yes brother. I didn't mean to put the Sheikh uh, in a tough situation there. I know I can bother him with questions. No, 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 it's fine. In fact, in fact I was, I was, I was, when, when we were on a break I was saying it would be nice if you could come back and uh, stay online. 
Inshallah, definitely, brother. I mean, there was just a few things um, I'd just like to um, uh, discuss and discuss and question upon.